Hey guys, welcome to part two. Um, in the first part, we created all the models that will be used as in the snow globe, and now we are going to look at the texturing side of things. So, right off the bat, we need to set up uh, some lighting because, as of right now, I declare this lighting awful. Um, make an area light. I love area lights. They look so much better. Uh, turn the distance down so it's not going to be like a floodlight. And it is going to have shadows, but turn the shadows just not as harsh, just by turning this up a little bit. And then hit Shift D. Rotate it. Just put it there. And turn the energy way down. And make the color just slightly bluish, you know. And turn this energy down a little bit actually now. And now if we render that, it should look... Not too bad. That'll We'll have to live with that for now. We can actually turn the energy down. Or the distance, I mean. Just a little less. All right, that'll do for now. So what we are going to want to do, let's start with the snowman. The snowman here is going to be really simple. We're just going to turn his hat to a nice black. And the twig arms, we're going to add a texture. Be sure to make sure that uh, the texture that's applied to this one is applied to this one just by making sure this two is on by holding shift, click, selecting both and hitting the F so that it creates one for both. And now we are going to, I found this wood texture online. You can go to cgtextures.com. They have got great textures for uh, people who are into Blender. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for images, definitely go to them. So click image or movie. And then select cube so that it doesn't look all, actually, you're probably going to want to select two because it is a tube. And now open up the image that you found, wherever yours may be. And let's see, I left that alone. That's all that I applied to that. And if you click on this one, it should have it as well. For the snow, uh, I don't know many much gray snow out there unless you live beside a highway or something. So turn the color up and the intensity up and do the same for every single one. cool and that's how you do a snowman really quickly and I actually used right here the same wood texture that I used for the arms so go ahead and add a new material hit texture clouds image flat turn that to cube open that up and find wherever you saved it oops and there you go um, I put a normal value on this, though, because it is going to be something that will be seen just a little bit more. And, oh, hit Receive Transparent, because this is going to be uh, transparent in a few moments. And you're going to want just some light to be able to pass through it. Just, you'll see where I'm going with that. So anyway, in the texture section, just go to Normal. And I put mine to a... Uh, what did I put it to? I put it to a point four five nine. I have it written down. So, And if you hit both, you can see what it looks like in the actual render. Now for this one, um, I just added a texture that they had in Blender. And the color I set to a... Actually, I kept the color the same, but I added a different normal map. So click Image. Or movie once again and we're gonna add the same texture except this time oh yeah it's on cube Except this time we're not gonna use a normal map for this one we want it to look a little bit different so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another texture so it new and this one is gonna be a st stucky I think it's that's how it's pronounced and the size is gonna be 0.01 and we're going to turn off color and turn on normal. 
and the normal is going to be set to, you know what, let's just go visually for this. I'm just going to set that to maybe a, this is in the way here. It's just nothing too strong. And now if we render this, it should look nice. All right. It's looking a little silly right now, but in the scene, you have to remember, these are the things that the scene, if it's way too specular for you or if that just doesn't look right, change it by all means. Don't follow what I'm saying. If if this doesn't work for your scene, put your own normal mapping. All right. Um, that's basically it for texturing. Now we just got to make this transparent. So select that object, new texture. Glass is clear, so turn it all the way up to white. Sorry, this is in the way here. And let's check the time. And now what we need to do is we need to go to mirror, or transparency, I mean, sorry. Click ray trace, and the R IOR is going to be set to 1.1. The alpha will be turned down to 0 0.43 or 0 0.043. And the specular will be set to 0.538. And now if you look, it'll give you this cool effect here. And if we render it, it's going to take a while to render it now just because it's not really going to look like much is there because background, we have image um, at all. So let me just quickly make sure that we have receive transparent. Nope, now we do. Receive transparent allows light from the lamp or area or sun or whatever it may be to light what's behind the transparent object. So if you turn that off, there is no light inside the sphere here at all. But if you turn it on, light can pass through and look realistic. Okay, so now we're going to select our whole snowman here. Hello, Mr. Snowman. And we're going to place him comfortably inside the globe. Cool. And just place him any way that you want. doesn't have to be the way I do it. That'd be pretty bad of an artistic person to be limited like that and now if we render the snowman will be backwards properly but we'll see the snowman clearly died and alive and well so there's how you that's all that um we're gonna do for the globe because i know that uh if if you were just doing like a model of the globe and just doing like a turntable you'd probably want to put a fair bit amount of detail into it. But for now, this is actually going to fit our scene quite well because that's all that we're going to really be able to see. We're not going to be able to see the fine details. Oh, we forgot to add a texture for the snow. My mistake. New texture and snow is white. Turn that all the way up to white. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a nice snow globe. So... Um, so, what, that's what uh, the snow globe is going to look like. So now we need to start building the scene that's going to be inside right after I check the time. Okay. We're not going to finish it in this part, but be sure to save it right now. Um, snow globe tutorial. Awesome. There's our snow globe, there's our snowman, and we are ready to start the scene. So now that we have it saved, we can start a new scene here in Blender. Right now, we're just going to add a plane, R along the Y, and 90. And hit Tab, and we're going to add some loop cuts. So right about there, right about there, about there. About there, select these vertices, hit X, and then select face. So now this is gone. And now what we can do 
that you're gonna add a modifier, and it's gonna be a solidify modifier. Make sure to add this one first, just like that. Just a little more before adding the bevel modifier, because if you add a bevel modifier before that one. What it's going to do is it's going to apply a bevel to just the plane that doesn't have any 3D aspects, just the plane with the hole in the center. And then you're going to add a solidify, and it's going to solidify it really awkwardly. So be sure to do that first. Right, now we have the window. But we need to... This isn't a very looking, realistic looking windowsill. You'd fall right out and there's no panes or nothing. So we need to add... A cube and we're gonna just I I think something that really pulls scenes together a lot for me is like uh, molding not mold molding like crown molding and stuff on uh, the floor and the wall and the ceilings and just along the edge it just makes it look just really it makes it look realistic um, yeah right now I'm just sizing it just to fit the scene well Just size yours, whatever the way you want your scene to look like. You don't have to follow mine. And right after I check the time, all right, we still got time. We're going to do some loop cuts. Very helpful thing for modelers. So hit Control r to add a loop cut. Scroll up to about that many. And we're just going to select a few by hitting Shift-Alt, remember, and select every other one. Uh, yes, and just size them up. Just like that, perfect. And now we want to control R again. We're just gonna add another one here. Well, that's quite awkward. Just like that. Let's add another one here. So select the whole thing and just extrude it up along the Z. And there you go. That's basically the bottom molding. And we're just going to do the same for the side. So it mesh, cube, size it, along the Y, then along the Z. Perfect. And we're going to add some more loop cuts. Go loop cuts and extrude along the Y. Yes, along the Y. And now we can just Shift D that and then hit R along the X. So hit R, X, negative 90. Put that up against the ceiling. Size it along the Y just so it fits your scene. Wonderful. So now we're just going to do that one more time. R, negative 90. Cool. For our scene, that'll do just fine. So we have our the window. We're going to add a, f a little more detail just in the next one, just to pull it together a little more. And then we're going to import the snow globe and add a background and just get the lighting just to the way we want it to look. So thanks for watching part two. Be sure to check out part three, and we'll probably try to wrap it up there, maybe do some compositing in the next, next part. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, be sure to check out Part 3.